Мель. Стрелы полз немедленно. Расчеты. Полз немедленно. In the evolving theater of modern warfare, electronic warfare EW, has become as critical as kinetic firepower. Nations are racing to develop weapons that can resist or defeat advanced jamming systems. In this context, recent reports emerging from Russian defense circles suggest that the country's newest generation of cruise missiles is now significantly more resistant to electronic jamming, marking a notable leap in Russia's long-range strike capabilities. According to sources close to Russia's Ministry of Defense and state-run defense companies like Tactical Missiles Corporation KTRV, recent upgrades have been implemented in the guidance and navigation systems of Russia's cruise missiles. These upgrades reportedly allow them to remain operational and accurate, even in highly contested electronic environments. The development is believed to apply to several missile systems, including the air-launched KH-101, the naval caliber 3M-14, and potentially the hypersonic-capable Zircon 3M-22. Russian defense experts claim that these systems now incorporate advanced anti-jamming capabilities using a combination of satellite navigation hardening, inertial guidance enhancements, and artificial intelligence-based trajectory correction. We are witnessing the maturation of Russian EW counter countermeasures, says Andrei Semyonov, a military analyst based in Moscow. This isn't just about GPS resilience. It's about full-spectrum resistance, radar deception, electronic spoofing, and signal noise immunity. One of NATO's key advantages over adversaries like Russia has been its extensive use of advanced EW tools, which can degrade or deny the navigation systems of incoming threats. In recent conflicts and exercises, the United States and Allied forces have successfully employed jamming technologies to divert or neutralize incoming missiles. These tactics depend heavily on interrupting satellite signals, like those from GPS or Russia's GLONASS, To combat this, Russia appears to have developed the hybrid navigation model in its cruise missiles. This combines GLONASS, Terrain Contour Matching TERCOM, Digital Scene Matching Area Correlator DSMAC, and Inertial Navigation Systems INS. By fusing data from multiple sources, missiles can now remember their routes even if all satellite signals are lost. Additionally, the integration of AI-powered image recognition may allow missiles to visually match terrain in real time, correcting their flight path dynamically, a technology once thought to be the exclusive domain of Western powers. Though Moscow has not publicly confirmed it, analysts suspect that many of these technological enhancements have been tested in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Over the past two years Ukrainian and Western officials have noted the increasing difficulty in intercepting and disrupting Russian cruise missile attacks, particularly in densely jammed areas like Kyiv and Kharkiv. Ukrainian defense official, speaking anonymously, stated, In the early phases, we saw a significant percentage of Russian cruise missiles veer off course or fail to hit intended targets due to our jamming efforts. That has changed, their accuracy has increased, and our EW measures are less effective now. Indeed, 
Ukrainian electronic warfare systems, many supplied or supported by NATO, have had remarkable success against older Russian systems. However, this success appears to be waning as newer variants enter the battlefield. Based on available open-source intelligence and defense think tank assessments, the latest Russian cruise missile upgrades may include encrypted dual-band GPS, GLONASS receivers, resistant to spoofing and signal jamming, multi-path terrain following, using both radar altimetry and preloaded 3D terrain maps, AI-based flight correction. Onboard processors can compare visual input from sensors with preloaded satellite imagery to identify landmarks and adjust the missile's path. Low probability of intercept, LPI data links, enabling mid-course updates without exposing the missile to enemy tracking systems. Improved electronic shielding and redundant circuits that allow critical systems to operate despite directed energy attacks or EMP-like interference. These advancements appear to stem from Russia's investment in next-generation EW and missile research following the 2008 military reforms and lessons learned from the Syrian and Ukrainian conflicts. If confirmed and deployed at scale, these upgrades could shift the balance of power in certain regional scenarios. A cruise missile that cannot be jammed poses a greater threat to key infrastructure, military bases, and even naval assets. For NATO it means that future air defenses must adapt not just to faster or stealthier threats, but to smarter, more autonomous ones. The development also poses a challenge for export customers and defense planners worldwide. Countries like India, Algeria and Vietnam, which operate Russian missile systems, may benefit from similar technologies, raising concerns among rival nations in Asia and Africa. Meanwhile, the US Department of Defense has already hinted at plans to accelerate its own cruise missile modernization under the Long Range Standoff LRSO program and bolster its EW response layers. In Europe, NATO planners are re-evaluating missile defense postures particularly in vulnerable states like Poland and the Baltic nations. Russia's efforts to harden its cruise missiles against jamming reflect a broader understanding of how future conflicts will be fought, not just with speed and firepower, but with signal dominance and cognitive autonomy. The modern missile is no longer just a flying bomb. It's an intelligent, adaptive system that can think its way to a target through a fog of jamming, decoys, and countermeasures. As global tensions remain high and technologies continue to evolve, the battle between jammers and counterjammers promises to define the next generation of warfare, where success may hinge not just on who shoots first, but on who communicates last.